Hello guys, so welcome back to another video and for today we will be fixing this generator number four which is I will I will face the camera onto the computer which is having this exhaust gas temperature um, outlet with sensor fail and then the lube oil inlet pressure sensor fail we're going to trace from end to end these two alarms to find out where is the problem coming actually the two sensors for these two alarms which is giving sensor fault were just renewed and technician came last time uh, in Busan it took them around 24 hours in tracing these two sensors the wirings from end to end and since the vessel need to depart they were not able to fix these two sensors the chief engineer asked me to actually trace if I can trace the sensors the wirings from end to end and so I made this video to at least for you to know and learn on how to do the cable tracing which is very important especially for the newly delivered vessel and those came from dry dock and they just installed new system they have all these miss wirings so come and join me in this new vlog So the first thing that we will do is to check first the manuals. Of course, it is a generator sensor. So we will start from the generator manual. And, and then the end part is connected to the alarm and monitoring system in the Aconis. And then we need to find also that connections on the I.O. unit. So good thing in the all the wiring diagrams have soft copy so I will start with the main diesel generator So we printed out these manuals and we will trace the cables now. It's a little bit noisy here so I'll just do voiceover. So let's go. So let's start first tracing the exhaust gas of the turbocharger outlet temperature. Here's the turbocharger and the sensor. As you can see, it is a newly installed sensor and a new cable as well. So we can rule out this sensor. So now let's proceed to the control panel. So the sensor has two pairs of wires. One pair is for the local display and the other one is for the alarm and monitoring system. For the local display, it is working fine except for the alarm and monitoring system. As per manual, the sensor name is TE61, which is this cable TE61. So let us now check the connections inside. As per the manual, the four wires are connected to number 66 to 69. But the other pair is connected to an amplifier before it goes to number 66 and 67 terminal. 
So let's locate first the number 68 and 69 as this is not the one who's connected to the amplifier. So as you can see, the number 68 and 69 are connected to the red and white wires. And then the 68 and 69 are the ones that are connected to our local display panel. Since the local display panel is showing the temperature, I can say that the number 68 and 69 as well as the red and white connections are matching each other. So I proceeded in checking the other pair. The other pair which is connected to the amplifier. But no pair of cable is connected to number 7 and 8 of the amplifier. The other pair should be connected to terminal 7 and 8 of the amplifier and the number 3 and 4 should go through the alarm and monitoring system. And this is not the case in here, so we need to trace where is the other pair of wire. As you may notice, the newly installed sensors, they do not have their own taggings. So I need to trace first the number 66 and 67 terminals. And this should be connected onto the number 3 and 4 of the amplifier. As you may notice, the colored wires doesn't have their own taggings. That is why we need to trace them manually by removing these covers. So instead the technician connected them to the amplifier, they connected them to a different locations. So all we need to do is to transfer these wires to the amplifier. This is of course to satisfy our wiring diagram. So the technician made a mistake of connecting the sensor to the terminal 7 and 8 of the generator side rather than to the amplifier. So now let's correct this mistake. So after transferring the cables to the amplifier, we need now to check the cable number 3 and 4. This should be connected to the number 66 and 67 as per the manual. So I manually trace the cable going through 66 and 67. until I found out that they are really connected to the number 66 and 67. And then the number 66 and 67 are connected to the brown and blue wires. So as per the local control panel, it is measuring 25 degrees Celsius. So this should be the same temperature that we will see on the Aconi system. This brown and blue wires should be the one that is going through our Aconi system. So now let's check if we have the brown and blue cables on the Aconi's cabinet. So the AMS cabinet for the engine room is located near to the Aconi's station. So now, let's check the connection of the turbocharger outlet temperature. As per the list, the sensor is connected to the card 2, channel 4, cables number 10 and 11.
as you can see in this card number two we have the cable number 10 and 11 in channel 4 which are colored in blue and brown which means they are connected properly here and it should give now reading to the Akone system and viola we are having around 46 degrees Celsius in the Akone system of course we need to correct this by simply adjusting the amplifier I just need to turn counterclockwise the span of the amplifier until I will match the one that is in the control panel display So after thorough checking, we have fixed the mix wirings on the turbocharger outlet temperature and we also calibrate it. So the next wiring will be the lube oil inlet pressure. This is a very important alarm because this one, once the lube oil pressure drops, then the engine will shut. And without this alarm, we cannot just suppress or bypass or we cannot just inhibit or off scan the alarm just for the generator to run because without this we don't have shutdown alarm once we have a problem on the lube oil inlet pressure so we need to find out what is the main cause of this sensor fault and let's find out 